Today we're going to do something you've never seen before. The videos you're seeing are made from toys and objects from my house. So I'm going to show you how to make an action-packed AI movie with your own toys as the lead characters. This is easy, there's no experience required, so let's get started. This workflow is going to use three tools, all of which have a free trial. The first is Kiri Engine, and this is to make the 3D models. Adobe Mixamo will help us animate those models, and Kyber or Runway will rotoscope or stylize them to look better. So for Kiri Engine, you can go to KiriEngine.app or download it from the App Store right away. This app's going to let you scan anything in your house and turn it into a 3D model. And I'm going to create characters in my film today based on stuff I've got lying around in the house. So open the app, press the plus icon, go to take photos and choose manual or automatic. And what you're gonna do for this tutorial is set up a human looking character in a T pose with arms and fingers outstretched if possible. And you walk around it in a circle, ideally taking about 200 pictures around the object. And you wanna place them on a stool or something you can walk around easily under sunlight or studio light that doesn't cast any shadows. So get some close-ups to get some detail and a few underneath the arms so the model comes out right in all places. When you've done that, make sure you have an OBJ file format and high quality settings. It's a best practice to click on your images and delete ones that were out of focus or didn't turn out right and give it a name and click upload. And now it'll cue it for processing and alert you when it's ready. So on either mobile or desktop now, you can use the app to crop out the stool or anything else that got into the scan you don't want. You just click a plane or a wall and move a slider and you can rotate to make it easy to select the part that you want. And doing this in the web app is typically how I would do it from here as the next steps won't be on mobile anyways. So once you have a clear character, all that's left to do is export it so that we can animate it. And this tutorial is for beginners, so all we need right now is just an OBJ file. Click export and you'll download the OBJ as part of it. So let's start animating our 3D models. So what we're going to do is Google Adobe Mix Ammo and sign up for a free account. On the left side, you can see animations. On the right is a default character. You're gonna click upload character and drag in your OBJ file that you got from the Kiri Engine app. So there's your character, map the circles to help it understand the body parts, and then click next. And now any of the animations on the left-hand side are going to apply to your character. So you can search and filter for specific actions and use this to make action sequences in your movies. So what a professional would actually do is take it to Blender and you can do a lot more there around cameras and creating full 3D movies. But for this beginner tutorial, we're gonna go the easy route and just set up the camera and the preview the way we want and record our screen. So you can rotate, you can zoom and pan on the video to get it the way you want it. And then on the Mac, you're gonna press Command Shift 5 on Windows, hit the Windows key, Alt and R, and start recording the area. That's all you need to do, and I can show you later how to make it widescreen and how to put your character into different backgrounds and settings, and we'll do that later in the tutorial. Once you have a recording that you like, you can take it to Runway Gen 1 or Kyber.ai and add animation styling to it. So for Runway, go to Gen 1, upload your recording, and on the top right is a style reference. You can upload an image here that you want it to look like, or choose one of their presets or even a text prompt and preview the style first, then click generate on the one that you like. And in a few seconds, you'll have your video. great animation centric alternative is kyber.ai and go to transform an existing video there, upload the recording, type your prompt or use presets which are great if you've never used them before, then go to video settings to get a preview. And if you're not happy with the preview, try playing with the transform settings a bit and adjust how closely it follows the guidance that it's given. And if you like it, click the preview you like the most and then go to create video from there. Now the backgrounds in Kyber tend to morph a lot and you'll also want to make sure that this is a widescreen format so what you probably want to do is green screen it. So go to runway again, select remove background as a feature and drag in your video and you're already ready to create a green screen. So what you're going to do is just click some dots onto the character to help runway understand the shape of the character so make sure that you're getting the limbs and extensions 
and scan through the rest of the timeline just to make sure it still works as the action changes and the character is moving. And now you have a green screen where you can drag in an image that you want to be your background and just make sure that the shape fits and your character is now inside that environment. So when you're happy with what you have, just go to the top right and click export and just go to your assets and click download on the one that you want. And one really cool thing to try is to download from Kyber and then re-upload again with a new background that you've green screened in and style like I did here. So with the green screen, we can change our background to anything we want. We can use the Curie Engine app to bring in more characters. And here's an idea of what you're going to be able to do with this tech. Analyzing now.